How you doing, everybody? Today we're going to take a quick look, appropriately, at Sonic the Hedgehog 2, directed by Jeff Fowler and starring Ben Schwartz, Jim Carrey, and Idris Elba. The nefarious Dr. Robotnik has escaped from the world he was stranded on in the last movie and returned to Earth, and he has enlisted the help of the Echidna Knuckles to take over the world and destroy that blasted hedgehog. And it's up to Sonic and his new ally Tails to stop them. Also, there's something about Tom and Maddie attending a wedding in Hawaii or something. I, I don't know. Who cares? The first Sonic the Hedgehog movie was probably the last movie most people saw in theaters before COVID shut everything down. I got a chance to see it myself at the time, and I thought it was fine. The second Sonic the Hedgehog movie is also fine. It is pretty much more of the same for better or worse, and is still one of the better video game adaptations I have seen. I recognize that is a low bar to clear, but nevertheless, it does clear it. The parts that really worked for me were the opening sequence where Sonic foils a robbery, poorly, in hilarious fashion, and then the big battle with Dr. Robotnik and his huge friggin' robot at the end. So basically, the first 10 minutes and the last 20 minutes. Everything in between... Eh. Much like the first movie, very simple plot. There is a thing the bad guys are trying to get, in this case, a Chaos Emerald. The good guys are trying to stop the bad guys from getting the thing, because if they get the thing, they are going to do bad things with the thing. It's a basic formula that we've seen a thousand times before, but there's a reason why we've seen it a thousand times before. It works. The voice acting is still pretty solid. I like Ben Schwartz as Sonic. He's still really good in this role. Colleen O'Shaughnessy is reprising her role as Tails, as she has performed him in various video games and animated series before. Idris Elba is the voice of Knuckles. Somehow. I kinda wish the character was a bit more consistent. The movie couldn't really seem to decide if he was supposed to be intelligent or stupid. And it's really weird hearing Idris Elba's voice coming out of Knuckles. I mean, he does a fine job with the role, but... They got the actual voice of Tails, but they felt the need to cast name actors as Sonic and Knuckles, and that just seems really weird. Like, Sonic sounds like Ben Schwartz, Knuckles sounds like Idris Elba, Tails sounds like Tails. I guess one out of three ain't bad, but it seems like they could have just gone with regular voice actors for all three, and it would have been fine. I mean, no kid is going to see a Sonic the Hedgehog movie because they think, oh, Ben Schwartz. No, they're going to see the Sonic the Hedgehog movie because they think, oh, Sonic the Hedgehog. This isn't difficult. There are plenty of references to the games in order to tickle that nostalgia itch. Uh, I did like that the coffee shop in Green Hills is called the Mean Bean. That was a nice touch. And I do kind of like the idea of Sonic trying to learn how to be a superhero. I just wish the movie had done more with that. It almost seemed like they kind of forgot about that after that opening scene. There is also a side plot with Tom and Maddie attending someone's wedding, and it seems like it's only there to give James Marston and Tika Sumter something to do. It's utterly pointless, it adds absolutely nothing to the movie apart from the runtime, and every time they showed up, I was just wishing we could go back to Sonic and Tails. And then, of course, we have Jim Carrey. In the first movie, he was a lot. In this movie, he is somehow even more. If Sonic 1 was Ace Ventura Jim Carrey, Sonic 2 is Ace Ventura Jim Carrey on cocaine. He was clearly having a lot of fun, and I'm sure a lot of this will just come down to personal taste. A lot of people will enjoy this, I'm sure. For me, he was a bit much. He needed to bring it down a notch or two. Maybe it's just me, but I personally could have done without seeing Dr. Robotnik flossing. I mean the dance, not the dental care, although I don't want to see that either. So Sonic the Hedgehog 2 started really good, ended really good, everything in between was kinda hit and miss. But overall, like I said, it's fine. And if you liked the first movie, you're probably gonna like this one too. And if you hated the first movie, you're probably not even watching this video, so I don't know why I'm talking. And there is indeed a little bonus scene in the credits that suggests they clearly still have plans for this film franchise, and it will be interesting to see where they go with this. And that's all I have to say about Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Till next time, take care.